Today, we learned how to construct dilations. In a, di in a dilation, what we're doing is, based on some point, I'm gonna call this point P, we can either enlarge or shrink a figure based on a scale factor that we're given. So for example, let's say we're given this triangle ABC and we want to construct a dilation of it with a scale factor of two based on this point. So what you're gonna do is draw a line from this point through each vertex and take the distance of that from point P all the way to point B. It's gonna be uh, this long. So if the scale factor is two, what we're gonna do is take this distance and repeat it out here. So now all of a sudden, that distance that, P, that B is away from P has doubled. So that is my B prime. And continue that for each of the other vertices of your triangle. And you'll have the dilated image. So let's see, I'll do A next. I might have to make that longer, but here. There's P to A, so I'm gonna have to double that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it a little bit longer. There we go. So there's our A prime. And then for B, or C, I'm going to take this distance from P to C. So that right there and double it and this point will be my C prime so after I connect all the dots you'll notice that with a scale factor of 2 it makes the exact same shape as the original but each of the side lengths is twice as big. Also, the distance of each point from point P has doubled. So now, from this to this, it's twice as far away. All right, so that would be a scale factor two. Now, let's say, for example, though, I didn't want a scale factor of two. Maybe I want a scale factor of three. In that case, I would take this, and instead of going one, two, I'd go one more, three. So then, C prime would have been way out there. And it would have been three times as far away from point P, and the figure would have been three times as large. Now on the other hand, I could ask for a scale factor of less than one, like a fractional amount, let's say a half. If I want a scale factor of half, then I'm gonna have to take this distance and cut it in half to find where C prime would be. So let's actually do that. So to find the halfway point of this, what I need to do is construct a perpendicular bisector. And we already know how to do that. So swing an arc on each side of this. There we go. Drawing my line. So what I just found here is the midpoint of the segment PC. So this would be my C. I'm gonna call it double prime because it's a different one. Okay? So that is the scale factor of one half point C about point B about point P now just do that the same thing for the other segments and we can construct our entire triangle with a scale factor of one-half all right so let's see there's the perpendicular bisector there's the midpoint there's my a double prime and then finally for P to B. There and there. Perpendicular bisector. It gets a little messy with all the perpendicular bisectors, but there's the midpoint. B double prime. And so, if I connect up those points, there's my new dilated triangle. So notice, 
The scale factor of one half shrinks all the side lengths down to half the original length, and the distance of each point to the center, uh, center of dilation has been also cut in half. So there you go. Original figure, scale factor of two, scale factor of one half.